it is Jesse, and we are on day three of 30 days to VidCon, which means in 28 days I will be in California at this moment. Um, I am extremely excited. I just feel like just yesterday we were like, oh, 114 days, 140 days, and like now we're just like 27, 28. Yeah, 28. I just said it. I don't know why I forgot. <laughs> Um, so for today, I keep changing it, <laughs> I keep changing my ideas, but, um, for today I decided that, um, what I had written down was, nope, don't remember. So, um, today I decided to, um, do a My Tattoos and Piercings, because I like them, and I want to talk about them. So, uh, y'all off. Here we go. Um, so one of the first, um, I'll go with my, my piercings first. So, um, I have my first holes. I technically have my second and third, um, and then I have my cartilage pierce. Um, obviously the first ones, um, I got were on my first holes, which I have gauged to a size 2G, um, then I got my second holes done, um, I think, and then I got my cartilage, and then I got my third holes done, but, um, I'm kind of letting my second and third go close up, um, I just kind of got tired of them. They were getting infected really easily and they were really annoying. Um, and me being the smarty pants that I am was like, oh, I'll take my gauges out when I get it pierced because that'll help her. And I should not have done that because they were very close and it just, I was worried that if I decided to size up that they would tear and it's just not fun. So I am just kind of letting them close up. They're giving me too many issues. I like this one still. I kind of want to get an industrial, but I just don't know yet. Um, and moving on to the next piercing I have, it is my nose. Um, I actually had a sort of awful experience getting my nose pierced. It wasn't terrible. I've had people tell me a lot worse stories. Um, but she put the needle through, um, and it was fine. It, it hurt, like, you know, for a second. Like, you know, that initial, oh my god, I just got stabbed in the nose with a needle. Um, but then when she went to put the jewelry in, um, the jewelry piece wouldn't go in. Um, and it started to, like, gush blood, and it hurt really bad, and she had to stab it again. And then get the nose, the nose ring in, um, and the jewelry finally went in, and it was awful. But I, she was like, you're doing so good, and I was like, hurts. <sighs> so, but... Uh, it wasn't that bad, and then after, it didn't really hurt anymore, and then, boom, I've had a pierce ever since. Um, and then, so moving on to my tattoos, I have this one, which is, hopefully in view, the symbol for Scorpio, um, because I was born on November 13th, um, and I added the star because it is my astrological sign, and also because I didn't want it to just look like a boring them without anything else there. So I'm just fit and made perfect sense. Um, so it was my first tattoo that I got when I was 19 or 20, I can't remember. Um, and my second, I don't remember what, <laughs> I don't remember what, when they came into play. Oh, shoot. Um, I can't remember which one came first. I think this one came first which says, um, the heart never lies, and it has a little heart at the end that I need to get fixed. Um, and that is actually McFly lyrics, because they are my favorite band in the world. I was laying in the tub, listening to their song, The Heart Never Lies, and I was like, oh my gosh, what a great tattoo. And so I called around, and I was like, hey, like, I know it's late, because it was like, <laughs> just about closing for all the shops. Um, and, uh, I just drove over. We just, I made my mom drive me over and I was like, please, it's small. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, like, we'll do it. So, that was cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, 
it it means a lot more than just like my favorite band it's like you should always listen to your heart the heart never lies like you know sometimes it's not always correct in the long run but at that moment your heart really truly feels something and you should go with it so um i thought that was a great one you know and right over your heart excellent um i think the next one uh was a pterodactyl that i have here um we on friday the 13th a couple of the shops around the area um do uh $13 tattoos, so um, I didn't expect to get one. My friends were going, and I was like, yeah, I want to, but I'm just not sure, and then I ended up going to meet up with them, and they were like, yeah, we can fit you in, just fill out a paper. I was like, oh, okay, so I, I was like, shit, what am I going to get? Um, and I just love dinosaurs, no idea why, so I was like, you know what, going to get a, a, a pterodactyl. And um, I'm really glad I did it because I met my tattoo artist that I go to like forever now. Um, so that was ex that was a good experience. Um, uh, and then I went to the um, Fuel the Arts um, tattoo convention, um, and I got this one, which is the second star to the right. So the, the North Star is the biggest star in the sky, so it's the second star to the right, um, which is a tribute to um, Peter Pan because it's my favorite movie ever since I was, you know, a little in. And um, I don't know why I love it so much. I just really do. I'm obsessed. It's really bad. I have a bad obsession. Um, and I think that actually came after my thigh tattoos, which I have here, um, which you've, I know has been shown. I am wearing shorts. Um, so that's those um and word to the wise be prepared if you get something on the back of your thighs because it is excruciating like i was screaming i thanked my tattoo artist well i wasn't screaming but i was grunting you know that like <clears throat> um thanked my tattoo artist um that did these one the bows um <laughs> for allowing me to make pooping noises it was pretty great um and then the next one I got is my biggest piece. I've been planning this out, waiting for the right artist, you know, for years and years and years. And it's actually the map of Neverland. Um, and so I have Mermaid Lagoon over here. And it, it's not finished. I'm going to have water. I'm going to have sky. And she's not finished coloring this stuff, some of this stuff in. Um, so um, one of my favorite scenes is when Wendy goes to Mermaid Lagoon. Um, and... The girls try to uh, get her to go swimming, and when Peter finally gets them to stop, one of the mermaids um, says, we were only trying to drown her, um, and I don't know why, she's just so sassy, I just, it's funny. Um, and so I asked her if she could do that exact mermaid, so I have that one, um, looking sassy. Um, and then we have Skull Rock, uh, we have the Jolly Roger in the port. We have Hangman's Tree, which is the Lost Boys hideout, um, and then a small little Indian pitch because um, I didn't really feel like having too big of a one. Uh, I don't know. Um, the more important ones for me were like Mermaid Lagoon and the Jolly Roger Hangman's Tree. And then back here is Peter flying away from Neverland. Um, yep, and he has his little red little red feather on his hat other than that he's completely black um yeah i'm excited to continue that one i just haven't had the money to so that'll be good when i can finally get back in there um and the last and final one i have i'm actually kind of disappointed in um and i haven't had a chance to go see my artist to get it fixed um i went to the fuel the arts tattoo convention with my sister and her friends this year um just a couple months ago like two months ago and um, I got a very small um, semicolon um, and it's supposed to be in green like the teal green for anxiety but you it really did a bad heel job I don't know if it was something I did or if it was the artist he I mean I had seen him tattooing all day and he had done a really good job so I don't know 
it was weird. My sister's also didn't really come out that great, but her friends did, so maybe it's just our skin. Um, I will zoom in, not zoom in, but focus on it. Um, but I chose to put a heart for the dot instead of just a dot. Um, yeah, so let me... So you can kind of see, I know the lighting is pretty bad, but that it's really patchy and not not great. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bummed about that, but you know, like stuff happens and I can't change it. I can just fix it. So I'm thinking I'm either going to do it in black ink or see what she says when she sees it. I sent her a couple pictures. I just have to get down there. So we shall see. Um, and that is all I have um, for tattoos and ear things. I have quite a few, I guess. I mean, I'm not covered, but I have, I mean, quite a few. So, um, yeah. And that's all I have for today's video. So, um, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy watching me work out. Um, Today was crazy. I got like a Charlie horse in my stomach after doing um, the crunches and the leg lifts. It was like some weird, oh, it was the most disgusting feeling. Um, but yeah, my back has been really sore and I think it's because I'm just so not used to working out like that, even though it's not really a lot. Um, I'm just really used to sitting and not, I, I should work out more. Um, so... Uh, another word to the wise, you should um, kind of stretch out and maybe strengthen your back a little bit before you jump into doing crunches and leg lifts and planks for the first time in probably since high school. So, yeah. That was a long six years ago. I mean, I did go to the gym for a little while, but I stuck more to, like, the treadmill and the elliptical, so... Anyway, I will um, see you guys tomorrow for day four of my 30 Days to Bitcoin. Charlie horse. <laughs>